What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you your top 5 most wanted exotics to return. Last week I gave you guys my top 5 most wanted exotics to return and gave you guys a poll on every exotic weapon in the game and asked you guys to pick the number one exotic you wanted to see return. Today we have the results. But before we go any further people, do you want to win some epic loot? If so, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server, linked within the video description. So before we see what 5 exotics got the most votes, let's quickly recap on my top 5. I chose the Suicide Regime, the Last Word, the Icebreaker, the No Land Beyond and the Pocky Infinity. Quite a selection I know. So let's get into the 5 you guys chose. And at 5, with 41 votes, we have the Fawn. An exotic we actually thought might return with the Curse of Osiris, but that was debunked. But yeah, the Fawn guys, I'm actually seriously surprised this got picked considering how broke it left PvP for many months in Destiny 1. A crazy choice in my opinion, but it is what you guys want to see return, so that's awesome. At 4 with 57 volts is nothing other than a weapon I picked, that being the Ice Breaker. Yes, it's no surprise that you guys want to see this beast make a return. I said this in my last video as it was a part of my list. And that's if any of these weapons were going to make a return, those in my list. In my opinion, the Icebreaker would be the least likely. And that's because how easy it made activities in Destiny 1. Even after they nerfed it multiple times, it still stood really strong at the end of the game. The Icebreaker was a true exotic for sure. At 3 with 63 volts is the Vex Mythoclass. Oh, I remember the good old days with this thing. A point in time this weapon was absolutely unstoppable. A time it was by far the most powerful weapon in PvP. And to be frank, I don't think there was ever a more OP weapon for PvP. In its heyday, this thing had mad aim assist, better stability than what it currently has, and did 56 damage to the head. It would drop somebody in an instant. The gun was a serious beast, and to be honest, a nerf was probably needed, as it at the end of the day was only obtainable from Atheon within the Vault Glass, and not that many people had access to it. I did have it however, and I did feel it's rough. Problem is, as Bungie do, they nerfed this thing, making it quite possibly one of the worst exotics to play with to date. The poor Mipho. But a great choice, people. At 2 with 91 volts is nothing other than the Galahorn. Now I actually thought this might land that number 1 spot. This in my opinion is the most exotic weapon ever. The most iconic exotic weapon ever. A weapon that literally did break the game. Made everything easy. Was the go to weapon for almost every single enemy encounter and scenario. And to be honest it wasn't all positive either. There was a time where groups and teams on sites such as LFG were searching for players with the criteria of having this weapon. Even a lot of the time being picked for having this over someone a higher level than you. That's how it was and this happened mainly around the time of Krota. This was the go to weapon for Krota, we all know that. And it separated a lot of the community. People wanted to see it nerfed for this very reason while others who were exploiting this thing's power didn't want to see it get nerfed. But eventually it happened, although nothing major, it did get nerfed. I believe they did reduce the damage the Wolfpack rounds caused, but I'm not entirely sure. There then became a time we all moved on from the year 1 exotics as the light level was raised. Upgraded versions of some exotics to match did eventually come though, but the Galahorn wasn't one of the initial ones. It was one of the very last, but then it did come and it come with its order brother, the Iron Galahorn, a pre-order bonus. But it wasn't the same in my opinion, it already had its heyday, although still a great weapon and one of the best for sure. The best times with the Galahorn come from Destiny Year 1. Okay, so at 1, with 121 volts, we have The Last Word. This again was a part of my list, not for the reason I bet most of you picked it though. I chose it as it's a weapon I never really used. It was a weapon, one of a few which did take true skill to use. You were either garbage with it like I was, or incredible with it. At one stage it had the fastest time to kill ever seen, but Bungie did put an end to that. Now the reason I wanted to see it return because I'd like to get good with it, I just never gave it a chance in Destiny 1 and that's why it was a part of my list. It was however a gun made for PvP. Wasn't really an option for 99% of all PvE activities due to what other weapons had to offer. And let's face it, no one would pick this over the Fatebringer. But for PvP, there wasn't many weapons you would pick and put before this. It was seriously consistent also. A weapon also which wasn't really touched 
uh, too badly throughout its life course of Destiny 1 and still stood quite strong until the very end. This truly unique exotic hand cannon was in my opinion a serious contender for one of the best exotics we'd ever seen. After seeing the results of this poll though, I might even go on to say it is the best exotic ever. Well in the eyes of you guys, it is anyway. Ok so we're going to move on and look at a few other picks that just missed this top 5. Two weapons with equal votes of 27, the Red Death and the Sleeper Simulant. I remember the heyday of both of these. With 33 votes, which was my all time favourite exotic, the No Land Beyond. With 35 volts, we have the Hawkmoon, a great weapon in its day. And with 40 volts, just missing out on that 5th spot, we have the Bad Juju, a truly badass, great looking Pulse Rifle. But yes guys, we have come to the end of the video. A great poll of results. The link to the results will be linked within the video description. Thanks to everybody who did vote. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, leaving a like really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in